What's up guys, welcome back from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Shadal's new TCG format, April 2020, Master Rule 5, finally after months of, you know, speculation. Um, it's finally the time. The Konami revealed our TCG ban list. Let's try it out. Shadal's was basically unharmed. Uh, probably being a structured deck, right? It has been, it was released like a little under two months ago, I guess. So, might be a little bit too early to hit the deck already. Um, I wanted to keep the deck at 40 cards sharp. The deck is quite frightening, the combination between Invocation, the Invoked Engine, and Shadows. The, the ceiling is so high, I mean the deck has so many possibilities. Um, again, 40 cards sharp, but there is so much work, it, uh, still needed on the build. The extra deck definitely needs work, since as you see here in the quote-unquote side deck, there are so many cards that I want to slap in, in here, um, especially in the, in, the, in the extra deck, because again, the, it, the, the extra deck is space is so tight, it's too tight for this particular deck. That's, I feel, the, the biggest uh, disadvantage of this particular hybrid or this particular deck, you know, Shadows with the... Um, the invoked engine. You might uh, want to cut one uh, Mechaba, that, that's definitely an option, but yeah, that, that, I mean, that, that you have so many options. Uh, I mean, the, the thing here is with uh, with my extra deck, I'm, I do opt to run the second Mechaba over, let's say, uh, Gravity Controller, but I've missed a Gravity Controller a couple of times in the duel, so I might want to slap that in to trigger an Epcolone immediately, just put it in the extra monster zone, right? Anyway, so for the main deck, as you saw, Super Polymerization is just not yet in the main deck. It depends a little bit on the format, but, well, we, we, we are still going to see, like, the, the standard decks um, sell it as well. So, you know, Super Poly might also be a Super main deck staple as well. Uh, I still prefer Nibiru, Triple Nibiru, because it's of obviously a light monster, but, you know, there is still the option to go for Driver or the Gamma Engine. As you know, but again, I want to keep the deck at 40 cards sharp, and uh, that's why I'm only running double Ash Blossom since <laughs> I just don't have the space. I'd probably just side take the third copy, but this is the thing why I believe or I feel uh, Shadol Invoked might be the best deck of the upcoming format. Then again, like anti meta decks aren't really hindered as well. Uh, Mystic Mine is also still at 3, so you might want to, um, you know, add in some main deck options to that as well, or against that particular engine or deck. Is um, and, and Vogue Shadows, it, it feels so frightening. You have so many options, and okay, the deck has or might have like that uh, small brick chance, I guess, uh, either opening too many fusions or too many monsters. That's definitely the, the, the small downside, I guess, of this deck, but um, then again, I, I, I mean, one card can turn this, this engine, or two cards can turn this multiple two-card interactions, can, you know, give you a multiple, um, like, a couple of locks, a couple of negations, first turn, and you can go from there, basically. Uh, the duel here today, uh, playtesting against, um, not Shadows, but Dinosaurs. The dinosaurs also basically unhindered. In all honesty, I thought that Konami would also hit Oviraptor, I guess, or Dinosaurs in general. And I'm looking at a card like Oviraptor. Well, Trishla was hit uh, if, if, if it's still played right, probably. But um, yeah, I thought that, that Konami would hit uh, Dinosaurs as well and then mainly Oviraptor. Not really sure how many Oviraptors uh, are allowed in the OCG, but then again, they do have Danglong, right? So um, yeah, anyway. So yeah, I just wanted to say that Dinosaurs is basically a deck unharmed by the ban list and definitely a huge force. Keep in mind that uh, Dinosaurs is going to get that new Jewel Beast, I believe the name is, the level 1. That's basically a searcher of your double evolution, ultra evolution. Uh, your double evolution pill, I believe the name is. And uh, yeah, a popper, it pops your babies, your uh, baby Sarasaurus or whatever, to get more searches. And again, that also feels quite frightening. It might be a reason that I kind of prefer maybe a third Ash Blossom in the main deck. This was very unfortunate. I think the, uh, was it the, yeah, the, the miscellaneous source uh, on the chain here. Uh, to, you know, make sure that the Conductor Tyranno keeps its effect intact, even though Makaba was, uh, Mechaba was activated. Anyway, so the deck obviously wants to go second. Um, you definitely want to go second because of the info. Well, going first with the Invoked Engine, you can put up, let's say, your Normal Summon Alistair going for your Salmon Great, Almirage, I believe the name is, and then, you know, go for the Link, um, 
the, the light link and go from there. Maybe a first turn Megaba pass, sit behind some hand traps, a potential uh, El Shadal fusion during your opponent's turn is also quite, or can be quite devastating since Winda, also a card that I had on my personal uh, wishing list, prediction list, but um, yeah, Winda still unharmed. So yeah, anyway, again, Makaba on the field, up to, you know, somewhat waste, kind of waste, yeah, double Alistair, but for the good cause, it keeps the um, the extra deck monster on the field so I can fully use the sh um, Shuttle Fusion indeed, and this should be my dual right, um, even though I'm very low on life points, I think I should go all out, Conductor, um, yeah, indeed, could still uh, be activated, but I still have a follow-up play with, I believe, was it the El Shadal Fusion? So again, Construct is an easy out to Conductor Tyranno, and now I think, not really sure, how am I going to end my field? Ah, this is an okay field, but it's not going to help against the top deck over Raptor, and that's, ah, yes, the, the small mistake I made is that I definitely should have set the trap card, the Shadal Trap, a bit sooner. Again, I could have used it previously, and then, you know, back banish itself to use the graveyard effect, but that's a small mistake that eventually cost me the duel. Anyway, so uh, going first here again, uh, opening with like not that great of an opening hand, but setting the Hedgehog, and it does get a flip effect off, so that's cool. Searching, I believe, the regular Shadow Fusion, and no Over Raptor, so that's cool. I don't think I had a hand trap, and that's one of the reasons why I still prefer the Performage Engine with Damage Juggler. It could potentially serve as a hand trap, might be important in the third game, prevent some damage from the opponent. I believe it also prevents burn damage, if I'm not mistaken, but I mean, it can be crucial it's a light it's so flexible and that's also one of the cards that i might want to fit in if i find the space is head trigger for a potential abyss dweller play for example but again, i just don't have the space in the extra deck for that so again, going second here, this is definitely a good opening hand. I can play through a couple of negations. Uh, I can hold off the Shadol Fusion is the, if there is an extra deck monster on the opponent's side of the field. Again, the El Shadol Fusion as well, the Invocation and the Light uh, uh, Shadol indeed. I definitely like the Light Shadol. Just a one-off, can be searchable off of Headshock and again a Light 1. So searching invocation, trying to force out the Lagia. Lagia is not activated, so that's cool. I can just force out, or you know, like use the invocation. And yeah, the fusion summons can't be negated now because of the invocation field spell, because of meltdown. And um, yeah, that should be my dual uh, conductor. Tyranno is indeed going to activate, um, trying to attempt to go to the battle phase, right? But I can still have a. Uh, yeah. I mean, you see, <laughs> just have a follow up play. Multiple fusion tests, Shadows. And probably one of the reasons why I might want to snipe in or sneak in a couple of extra uh, super problemizations. Just give you some extra fusions as well. Mainly because, well, you can use your opponent's monsters also. So I don't think this is a game. I don't think so. Uh, but eventually uh, going for the MVP, Boral Sword dealing some nice damage. Abcalone negating Conductor doesn't really matter too much here in this situation, but Dragon being a 1900 beat stick and of course having the Shadol uh, Monster Trap. Uh, core, not really sure if it's needed. Um, I kind of prefer it still, but I mean, maybe for like uh, a 12 to 13 round wise, yes, you might want to make your deck as consistent as possible and opening with Shadal Core, that's not really the best. So yeah, that's up to you. Going second again, this is an okay opening hand. Double Windy, not really sure. Windy currently is at 3 in the deck. I've seen builds and Vogue Shadal builds uh, only running double Windy. I get why, but um, yeah, I still prefer it at 3, but it, it, it's it's... It needs more playtesting. So yeah, the Nibiru is lurking here in uh, the background, I guess. I, I think I need to drop it, prevent the Dolka from coming out. If Lagia is dropped, um, yeah, so be it. If not, I, 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 I can't risk it. So that's why I went for Nibiru here. But Lagia and um, a Conductor Terminal, that's not really that threatening. I can just go into the battle phase and try to force out, um, well, Conductor, but it's not going to matter since I can just flip over the um, Nibiru again. And here I've completely forgot that my uh, Abcalone was banished because of the Chuking Earth Monster. 
So yeah, I need to somewhat, um, yeah, kind of correct my small mistake, my small error. You know, some standard plays by going for Skomata as well, by popping or getting rid of the token and going for a weak Appaloosa. Uh, so yeah, Construct is definitely an art for uh, Tyreno if it's not using the effect, but obviously it will. Uh, and yeah, Appaloosa is going to negate it. So basically this play um, kind of ensured that I lift another turn, but yeah, I needed the Boral Sword to attack over the big token and of course eventually over Conductor Tyreno. Tyre Tyre indeed as well but yeah that wasn't the case now there is a like yeah indeed which will just you know uh, use the effect against the regular shuttle fusion last example going first again not really too optimal but the uh, invoked engine definitely helps out it still baffles me that the invoked engine is still untouched definitely would have expected going into the new master rule 2020 tcg that um, same for luna lights that konami would preemptively hit invoked uh, maybe alice 221 or meltdown to one or whatever right so yeah or, or megaba to one anyway so this is like a, like a combo that that's really filthy i mean using your cross sheep going for megaba having the one of negation and of course going for caliga as well basically shut down uh, the uh, monster effects for both players but most importantly prevent your opponent from playing the game from playing the duel and then you know you can just capitalize on the fact that you can use one monster effect during your own turn and then just link it away uh, and then you can go for game that's basically the deal with um, again that, that, that small combo is just too nasty of reborning your level 4 fusion off of crush sheep Anyway, this is the current build, but again, like always, feel free to leave suggestions. I want to fit in a lot of cards, as you see here in the side like Dynamiscus, the Gamma Engine, Hat Trigger, more space for the extra deck like uh, Abyss Dweller, the Gravity Controller as well, maybe cards like Super Polymerization, Call by the Grave, Emergency Teleport are all definitely options. So yeah, uh, feedback is always appreciated. Uh, thanks for watching, feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.